<coughs> okay, it is 7.23. I hope and pray everybody out there is staying strong. And our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to share real quick a dream that I had last night, uh, or this morning, where I seen uh, these people were rushing, you know, really, really fast, like a race going across the nation. You know, like something was going on across this nation. Uh, this, they were in, in New Mexico at the time. They were on their way going through Texas. But they were, like, driving as fast as, yeah, on motorcycles. And I was like, this is insane. You know, you have an accident. They were going so fast, it was like looking at a blur. And, uh, you guys, I had that dream, that telescope, like, or that camera lens. And I could hear it speeding up. Everything's going to, you know, I was told a while back, sit down, buckle up. Like, things are going to start moving really, really quick. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not letting the uh, mockers, whatever they're going to do, if they're going to mock, let them mock. Uh, we, we've been, in, by the grace of God, we've been able to put things together that's, that's telling us what God has done and what he's about to do. Uh, God is spirit. Everything he's done, you know, he spoke it into existence. He's wrote the end, the beginning to the end. And he's put everything together. Everything's coming abroad. We see it all. And uh, this is the time. <coughs> you guys, the other day I repented again. And I, and I said, you know, Lord, forgive me. Because some of these attacks were, like, getting more fierce. And I repented again. Remember this, guys. We have a mediator. Okay? We can even be, you know, from the debating, the arguing, the, all that stuff. Stay away from it. You know? I'm not going to do it. This is what I'm going to just sit down and buckle up now. And uh, I'm not going to get into People are going to do what they're going to do. That's why it says in Scripture, it says... Uh, let the wicked be wicked, and let the righteous be righteous, and let the just be just. And, uh, in other words, let them be. You know, whatever they want to be, let them be. You know, we see something ain't right, we don't, it's not for us to make it right. What we can do is sound the trumpet and say we're in the end times. God wants us all to repent and, uh, turn from this to him. You know, because this world, it's like, it's... It, everybody's blinded by it. And Christ has already finished the works here. Christ has finished it. You know? And it's by his blood, his blood alone, that he made a way for us back to the Father. And the enemy out is out there around us trying to cause contention. In other words, uh, argumentative, debating, uh, those kind of things. And we got to stay away from them. Contention. I, I think that's the right word. There's a scripture, I just read it the other day about that. Uh, contingent. Use some, you know. Like I said, you guys, I repented. And I said, Lord, because I've been trying too hard to get these points across. How you got to do this, got to do this, what scripture says. Listen, what scripture says is it's based on obedience and uh and those that don't want to do it they want to be disobedient that's on them that's why it says let them be what they're going to be uh if they want to be ungodly then they could be ungodly you know me i'm going to stay close to christ and i know it's already finished he did the work already and i and i avoid sin it says those that fear god will flee from sin you know, if they want to feel what they want to feel, that's up to them. This is where we got to let them be. I mean, really let them be. It's, uh, but for the most part, Here's a short one right here at the end of this one. It says, if anybody comes to you and they don't bring this doctrine, 
uh, receive them not into your house, and neither bid them Godspeed. Went to a Bible study um, a few weeks back, and these people wanted to do a balloon trick and then give us a real thick book saying, Walking with God. And I opened it up really quick, and uh, at the end of the Bible study, I didn't even look at it, but I opened it up really quick, and like the second and third page, and it was in big, bold letters. It said how Peter had miserably failed Jesus. I'm going, wow, that's that's not in scriptures. I don't even want to see what else they got in here. You guys, see, they slide these things in like a slithering snake, just like they try to cause contingent among us. The things we're not supposed to be doing. The only thing we're supposed to be doing, we had our eyes open right now, we're supposed to be getting into the Word of God. We're already sealed. We received it. There's nothing we can do. Okay? We can harm ourselves. That's why, you know, can mayhem, can that destroy you? Yes, I believe it can. You know, that's what I heard in a dream. Can mayhem destroy you? So you guys, um, like it says, let them be who they want to be. You know? If anybody comes to you with a different doctrine, you guys, all these books people are writing, that's a different doctrine. You know? It's a different doctrine. It's not Holy Spirit inspired. They made merchandise of people with and teach them different doctrines. You might as well bring in evolution with it and everything else. All right, 1 Corinthians 6, 9. Know you not that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor infeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. I had to repent of all that, you guys. Where, you know, I was married to somebody that had been married. Just divorced because they, well, from what I heard... You know, the husband left because she look, was looking like she was getting older. I'm going, what? This is crazy. But you guys, there's a lot to reading scriptures. Everybody's got to read them and discern them for themselves. But anyhow, we ended up getting divorced. And um, I didn't look for another relationship after that. I started reading. And I knew the times we were in. And Christ is all that matters to me. And seeking after God. You know? I wish I would have known the truth a long time ago. I would have been living a single life, you know, and do I go to churches to, uh, you know, no, if you, if you, if you go into a church today, they're just telling people a sermon. They're not getting into the word and reading it. And it's very important that you read it. Not to mention, you know, when they're carrying guns. Okay, I trust in the Lord, man, and Him alone. All right, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but now you are washed, but you are sanctified, you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. So you guys, it's done. So avoid all these contentions and everything like this. Because it says, if you don't do right in Revelations, man, I will throw you into great tribulations. You know, we don't want to be thrown into the great tribulations, man. We want to get out of here. You know what I'm talking about. Um, Revelations. To the angel, let me see. I'm just looking for this real quick, you guys. I was listening to it again this morning. Yeah, you know, we're we're called to repent, you guys. All of us, none of us are that righteous. We're not. None of us. Only Jesus Christ.
<clears throat> be watchful, strengthen the things that remain, that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect. I will confess him before my Father. Where is that, you guys? A lot of times, just to get that exact verse, I'll go on the phone and look at it really quick. It's between 1 and 3. Uh, you know where it says, Because thou art lukewarm, neither cold or hot, I'll spew you out of my mouth. Because ye say that I am rich and increase with goods, have and have need of nothing. Boy, we need Christ, man. And anything that we have, you know, it's blessed by him, and we got to be seeking him with everything we have. Okay. Uh. Uh, let me look it up here. Do a spell check. Change it. it. Says everything's okay. Here we go. All right. Okay. It's Revelations two, twenty two. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit idolatry with her. Unto great tribulation. Okay. There's four verses they said they found with that. Revelations 2.22. Alright, I'm going to start off at 20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against you, because you, thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants, to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I have gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that committed idolatry with her, in the great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he that searcheth the reins and the hearts. I will give in to every one of you according to your works. Yeah, you guys, we got to, you know, starting to get a little bit more light out here. <clears throat> we got to be walking with the Lord, you guys, being stayed steadfast. And, uh, you know, all we can do is share the times and, you know, the things that we see coming up right now. And then uh, let everybody be who they're going to be. But I, I'm pretty sure things are going to be speeding up in ways uh, people aren't going to be ready for this. Most people won't. <laughs> when the great tribulations... I think that dream speeding across the nation. You guys, those merchant ships are out at sea right now. And I know they're there to fulfill what's written in Scripture. And and Putin, you know, you could see, just look at his face, and you could see the pressure he's under. You know, what he's, you know, people think, oh, he won't do it. Oh, yeah, you don't think so? Let me tell you something. When the Spirit of God, when God wants something done on a godless uh, nations, oh yeah, God's will will be done, and it does say that this place will be uh, burning, and I've had several dreams seeing it uh, nuked all over the place, 
People think, no, he won't do it. Are you kidding? Not only will he do it, um, there's going to probably be other nations helping him do it. You know, it's going to happen. You know, they'll do it. And uh, they'll prepare and set themselves up to it. You know, will, will people commit suicide? <laughs> yeah, they're going to. Why? Because they got a different spirit in them. You know? Yeah, people will do a lot of things, man, if they're not right in the Lord. That's why we have to be walking with Him daily. When you're not walking with God, I mean, really walking with God in His Word, not some book somebody wants to sell you for 22 bucks, you know? But walking with God, we got to be, be in, we were quickened in with Christ by the grace of God. And we've been given an understanding that we never had before. Hope and pray you guys all be ready for this, okay? Yeah, and anybody out there, you're having lots and lots of attacks and stuff, I'm telling you, they changed with me once I, I repented again. Yeah, but I'm still seeing things. I'm seeing where things are getting ready to speed across. We have to just be very careful what we do. Everything. Stay away from contention, arguing, debating, and stuff like that. Don't do it. You know, people don't want to believe. They don't want to see let him be, you know, and uh, just put your faith and trust in the Lord, okay, all right, you guys, God bless each and every one of you, in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.